Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to print the first or last n rows of a data frame to the RStudio console. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data and we can print the entire data frame by running line 5 of the code to the RStudio console. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom that our data frame contains 10 rows and three columns x1, x2 and x3. Now let's assume that we want to print only the first rows of our data frame to the RStudio console. Then we can apply the head function as you can see in line seven of the code. And within the head function, we simply need to specify the name of our data frame to print the first six rows of our data frame to the RStudio console. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have returned only the first six rows of our data frame. If we want to print a different amount of rows to the RStudio console, then we can also specify a value within the head function, as you can see in line nine of the code. So all we have to do is to specify a comma after the name of our data frame and then we have to specify the number of rows that we want to print. So in this case, I'm printing the first eight rows of our data frame to the RStudio console. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that another output has been returned at the bottom. And in this case, the first eight rows of our data frame have been returned to the RStudio console. Similar to the head function, we can also print the bottom rows of our data frame using the tail function, as you can see in line 11 of the code. And the tail function also prints the last six rows of our data frame by default. So if you run line 11 of the code, you can see that the bottom six rows of our data frame are returned to the RStudio console. And similar to the head function, we can also specify a different number of rows that we want to print within the tail function. So if you run line 13 of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have returned the bottom eight rows of our data frame. So in this video, I have explained how to apply the head and tail functions to return the last and first rows of a data frame using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code that I have used in this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.